Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do like my no makeup makeup look. And I say like this because I'm obviously wearing makeup. But I'm not putting like a full face on or anything. Um, this is going to be really chill, kind of like a chit chat type thing. I literally have the finale from The Bachelorette on that had like happened yesterday. But I wasn't home so I didn't watch it. But I know who won. I think she was like the worst bachelorette to be honest. And she got the finest man, like, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna start by putting sunscreen on my face. This is by my skincare brand. Um, I live in Florida, so it's very important to have sunscreen on and I do put sunscreen on my face every day. If I'm looking down, it's because my mirror is like right here. So yeah. We gotta put on sunscreen. I like have a love hate relationship with this state. I love it because like my family's here and my school is here, and I love my school. But I also hate it because it's freaking hot and humid like all the time. That annoys me. Okay, so now I'm going to have my sunscreen on. I wish I had my headband. I don't know what happened to my headband. I had bands. I had a white one, but I'll just use the pink one. That's fine. Look at this. That's fine. It's just keeping things out of my face. So. I look like a, a little girl. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to take my Benefit Professional um, Pore Minimizing Primer. And I'm going to take this and put this on the spots of my face that I want to like mattify and just smooth out. So I'm going to take like that much and I'm just going to go like that and put it in the areas that I want it. But I'm not going to push it in yet. So yeah, mark it off and then I'm going to take my fingertips and just lightly like tap it in and just kind of go like this. I like tapping it in because I feel like instead of wiping it, like I feel like this just removes the product. So I like to tap it in. I'll rub it over my nose just because my nose isn't that bad. It's here that like my pores are huge. So I'm just gonna put more on until I feel that it's good. All right, so once I'm done like pushing it in my skin, I like to take this beauty blender, which is like really hard, and it doesn't really push anything into your skin. I just like to go like this, cause this is like um like a fake beauty blender, and I like to use it just to push this in, and I put it over my eyes too. But, okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And the way I do this is I take the eyebrow brush and I brush everything up. This is what I do when I need to get my eyebrows done, but I just don't have the time to do it. I don't go like, I don't do my eyebrows like super good if I need to, but I always fill in my eyebrows. I just go lightly like this and just kind of make the shape of it. But I'm gonna fix the lines and everything later. Just to do like natural. So then I take the spoolie and I just go through them and I just like blend everything out. This eyebrow always comes out the best. I don't know why. A little bit of foundation on the back of my hand, like literally a dot like that. And then I'm going to take this flat brush and I'm just going to go like this. And I'm just going to fix my, like underneath my eyebrows. 
the decisions that are coming. And then I take my glue blender and I just blend it all out. Why did I put it down there? The foundation. Onto my eyelid just to even out my discoloration and stuff. Because I hate like, the natural color of my eyelids. Not a fan. And I just beauty blender. And then I'm just gonna spot conceal the rest of my face. So I have like redness under my nose, so I'm gonna take it around there. I have like some veins on my nose that I like to like, get rid of. I have this one pimple right here. I'm just going to blend out that. Yeah. What I'm going to go and do is take my beauty blender and take it in my translucent powder and set everything that I just did. Now I'm going to take my skin color face powder, this one which I've literally hit pan on, my beauty blender, my flat brush, and I'm just going to go over everything I just did. I'm going to take this one and just go over my whole face. rose water and just go all over my face. Whatever little dots I left, I just take the beauty blender and just go over them. I'm going to go ahead with my highlighter and I'm going to spray my highlighting brush with the rose water so that way when it picks up the product it, and I put it on my face, it looks more natural that way. And I'm using... Moonstone by Becca. It looks like this. I'm just gonna take it on my brush, like both sides, kind of swirl it in there. I'm gonna find my high point of my cheeks and just. And then under my eyebrow. And then I'll go back in with a beauty blender and I. Blending is so important, it makes everything look way more natural. Go in and curl my lashes. And what I like to do to make my eyelashes look a little thicker is I will take translucent powder and I will dip it, dip my um, eyebrow brush into it. I go like this.
lips go. I usually don't apply anything to my lips, but I did get this um, this lip oil. It's by Butter by London. It looks like this. And it's in the color Cinnamon Spice. And it just looks really natural. Like it matches like my natural um, lip color. And it's really, really moisturizing. And you just like click it. How it comes out. Alright, so this is the finished look. I'm, I'll take the head right now. Just to show you guys that I'm going to put this dry shampoo in my hair. It's by Suave. It looks like this. Just because my roots are just a little oily. So. Yeah. Alright, so this is the finished look. This is my no makeup makeup look. And I wear this to class like every day. Well, when I have class. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. If you didn't like it, still like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.